Hi again, here we are to continue talking about the table view um, with Swift 3 and Xcode 8. Um, I've created the table view and kind of set up an, an IB outlet for it in uh, Storyboard in the previous video. And now what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up our table view and, and make it function, right? So the first step here is to, um, is to set the the data source and the delegate. So what I'm gonna do, and you can do this a lot of different ways. You can do it in storyboard by control dragging from the table view to the view controller thing here. And you can also do it a, a couple other ways in storyboard. I'm actually gonna do it all in code in our view controller file. And it's just exactly the same thing, okay? It works the same way. Um, it's just a little bit different how you set it up. The end result is the same. So let me switch out of the, um, the assistant editor and just switch to our view controller here. So now I've got the view controller showing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mark here. And I'll say IB outlets. And then I'll, sh I'll do this. I'll say mark um, uh, view lifecycle. Okay, so this these are these marks right here show up on the menu up here, and you can see IB outlets and view lifecycle, and so that kind of organizes my code, and you know it makes it easier for me to find the areas of my code that I'm looking for. So so this will be good in the long run. Right now it doesn't matter, but as we add more code, these will be really helpful. Okay, okay. So our next step, um, find the view did load method. And what we want to do is inside view did load, it has to fall between these two curly braces here for the function. What we're going to do is we're going to say table view is going to, um, and we're going to set the um, the value of table view. Table view has two properties, um, uh, delegate and data source. Okay, and we want to assign our view controller class as the delegate and the data source. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll say uh, table view dot um, data source equals self and table view dot delegate equals self okay and when I do that um, a moment later any moment now I'll get an error I'll do a command B and build and it'll say build failed and it'll say you cannot assign self as data source or delegate because we don't conform to the um, the data source and delegate protocol, okay? So to fix that, what we'll do is we'll go up here to the class, um, the first line here where we define the class, and right after UI view controller, we'll add a comma, and we'll type in UI table view delegate, okay? You can use the code hints to help you out, but we want, this needs to be UI table view delegate, and then what we'll do is we'll type in UI table view, and I'm going to look for a data source here. UI table view data source. Okay. Okay, so these two errors will go away now, right? So these two are gone. But now we've got another error, and if I click on this, it's going to say, hey, view controller does not conform to the protocol, right? So these two protocols essentially make a deal with the table view or UI table view methods, right? So table view wants to call methods on its data source and delegate to let you know what's happening with the table view. And so by declaring um, these two protocols, what we're saying is that we will provide methods that, that table view can call on and they're gonna have specific names and take specific parameters. And, and we don't have those methods yet here. So we have to define them, okay? And essentially there's two methods, okay? Um, and really what we're defining is these two methods actually both belong to data source, right? The, the, the methods that belong to delegate are, are actually optional and we don't have to have those, but we're going to use them anyway because there's going to be some in here that we want to use. But the, the, the data source ones are, are required. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple lines of code here between the IB outlets and the view did load method. And I'll put another mark in here because everything I put in this area will be... Um, you know, table view stuff. So we'll say table view methods, maybe, right? And the first method we need is number of rows in section. Okay, so I'm going to type in number of rows in section. So it should be table view 
number of rows and sections. So we're going to choose that one, okay? And this method requires that you return an integer, and this is the number of rows in your table view, okay? So for right now, why don't we just return, you know, like 10, right? We're going to change this later. Next, we need to um, define the cell for row method, okay? So cell for row at index path. So I'm going to type in cell for row, and then I'm going to get the method here. It should be table view cell for row. And you can just hit return, and it'll type the whole method out for you, right? And this method needs to return a table view cell. So essentially, when the table view displays stuff on the screen, it asks the data source for the number of rows that it should display. And then every time it wants to draw a row, it asks the data source for that row, okay? And this is the method that returns the row, and this is the method that returns how many cells there are total in the table view. So what we need to do here is we need to generate a cell and then return that cell. So what we'll do is we'll say, uh, let cell equal table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier string. I know it's a weird name, it's really long, but just start typing DEQ, okay? And then you should get DQ reusable cell with identifier string. Now there's a couple of these. This one, DQ reusable cell with identifier string, actually has more stuff on it, but we want the first one that's just with identifier string and it ends with the parentheses, right? Okay, and this method returns an optional um, table view cell. Okay, so if you recall, when we set up our table view cell in storyboard, we gave it an identifier string. We're going to put that same string here. You can even go check it in storyboard and copy the name and paste it here. I named my cell cell, all lowercase, so I'm just going to type that in, okay? So the other thing we need to do here is this method, I've got an error, right? Because it's saying like, hey, this method must return a table view cell. Let me move that out of the way, right? So it must return a UI table view cell, and we haven't returned anything. So what we'll do is we'll say return cell, okay? And now that we've got our cell, why don't we put something in it? So we can just say cell dot um, text label dot text equals um, hello world, right? And that will be our um, our table view. And actually, um, the cell that we get here will be an optional. So if I, you know, hold the, the option key and click on the, the variable name here, you can see that it says UI table view. And this, I know this text is really small, but there's a little question mark there. So this is an optional. So we actually need to turn that optional into a, um, like a non-optional. So, um, or unwrap it, so to speak. So I'm going to actually just put an exclamation point at the end of this line. And then it'll say like, hey, you know, you got the question mark here and you really don't mean to have that because you just unwrapped your your optional up here. So what we'll do is we'll we'll remove that question mark. Okay. And there we go. So let's do a command B. It looks like it built without error. And then we'll test it in the simulator. So I'm going to test in the iPhone 6 simulator. And we'll see how it works. Oh, there we go. And then we should have 10 rows, and they should all say, hello world. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we'll continue with this and add some more features in the next video.